I have just found this one year old video collection of me refining some gold, enjoy. These are some gold teeth and to remove the teeth from them, we are first going to dissolve the teeth in hydrochloric acid, leaving the gold behind. It ended up taking way longer than expected and the real teeth were gone after about a week. These ceramic teeth didn't dissolve and therefore everything was added to a melting crucible and put into my furnace. The plan was that the gold would simply melt off, leaving the ceramic behind, but as it turns out, the ceramic things were not made from ceramic, but from some combustible material and it made horribly smelling smoke. But we got rid of the teeth and I put everything into a porcelain dish, which was actually preheated, but decided to burst anyways. To dissolve this stuff we are going to use a mix of nitric and hydrochloric acid. I also have this gold earring with diamonds and we are going to dissolve the gold in another beaker. When hydrochloric and nitric acid are mixed, it makes something called aqua regia. This stuff can dissolve gold and it can even dissolve platinum. The hydrochloric acid was added first and as you can see, nothing happened. This was to be expected. Hydrochloric acid on its own cannot dissolve gold. A small amount of nitric acid was measured out in a smaller beaker and it was then added to the hydrochloric acid. Heating was turned on and after a while the solution became red and obnoxious brown fumes started to form. The fumes are made from nitrogen dioxide and nitrosyl chloride. Dissolving the gold due to some unknown reason took very long and it was finished in about two days. I even put off the solution into another beaker and added fresh nitric and hydrochloric acid to speed up the process. As I didn't have enough time the big gold lump didn't even dissolve completely, but enough gold should have dissolved to demonstrate the extraction process. Gold goes into solution in the form of hexachloroauric acid and these diamonds were left behind. I can't find it anymore, but I had a paper talking about selectively crashing out gold, platinum and palladium and therefore these reagents were going to be needed. We began by destroying leftover hydrogen nitrates by adding sodium disulfide. During this process a lot of toxic brown nitrogen dioxide vapors were formed. I did a filtration and the gold was also reduced to elemental gold in this step and this is gold powder which was left behind. It was quickly rinsed with some distilled water and there you go, this is gold. It may not look like it, but yeah, it's gold. I am also not going to melt it together into one big blob, because the gold is much more useful to me in this form and I can use it for further chemistry experiments, because the surface area is larger than with a gold bar or gold blob. My paper also talked about crashing out palladium or platinum, I don't remember which one, by using ammonium chloride. So we added ammonium chloride and nothing crashed out. We also tried sodium chloride which either selectively crashes out palladium or platinum, but this also did not work. As I said, this video is not going onto the main channel because I don't have my paper anymore. So we ended up crashing all leftovers out using sodium thiosulfate. This left us with a brown sludge which might contain palladium or platinum, I don't know. I still kept it because it might be valuable, I don't know. In the end we were left with about 4 grams of gold powder and with a big lump of unrefined gold. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did make sure to subscribe.